So, we will talk about IBS and IBD. What are the conditions of these two conditions? So, in IBS, as the term suggests, irritable. So, it is completely a functional syndrome. Functional means, how many other tests we might do, everything will be normal. So, they are very stressful or they are not having an adequate sleep or they are not taking the right diet. They are junk foods or alcohol, smoking, this is exercise they are consuming. Then the disturbances can be there in this gut-brain axis. Hi, I am Dr. Ilavarasi, Consultant Medical Gastroenterologist, Meta Hospital, Chetpat, Chennai. So, we will talk about IBS and IBD. What are the conditions of these two conditions? Though these two conditions might sound alike, they are completely different. So, IBS is an irritable bowel syndrome. IBD is an inflammatory bowel disease. So, we will talk about IBS first. So, IBS as the term suggests, irritable. So, it's a completely a functional syndrome. Functional means how many other tests we might do, everything will be normal. So, what is this irritable bowel syndrome? It is because of the disturbances in the gut-brain axis. In the medical term, we call it like that. So, what is this irritable? The nervous system, नम्बरोंडे नारंभ मंडलम वंदे, नम्बरोंडे इंटेस्टाइन ले नरिया फंक्शंस वंदे इट कंट्रोल्स, लाइक द मोटिलिटी ऑफ़ द इंटेस्टाइन, और इट कंट्रोल्स द डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम सेक्रेशन, सो नम्बर कोडलोंडे आसेव, इधर लाती में वंदे नर्वस सिस्टम वंदे कंट्रोल पानो, सो इधर ले वंदे ये रा� or alcohol, smoking, this is exercise they are consuming, then the disturbances can be there in this gut-brain axis. So, these are the symptoms of IBS. So, what are the symptoms of IBS? Somebody can have abdominal pain. It can be a viral infection, viral infection, diarrhea, constipation, or they can even have a combination of these two symptoms. So, if we test it, most of the tests will be normal. Like our basic tests like hemoglobin, CRP, endoscopy, colonoscopy, the testing we do. And then everything will be normal. So, we reassure the patients that there is nothing to worry. And lifestyle changes will definitely offer a good relief of these symptoms. So, coming to inflammatory bowel disease. Inflammatory bowel disease is totally different. This is an immune mediated disease. So, there will be a lot of inflammation in the large intestine as well as in the small intestine. So, there are two types of inflammatory bowel disease. One is ulcerative colitis, the other one is Crohn's disease. So, in the ulcerative colitis, it involves only the large intestine. And Crohn's disease, it can involve the small intestine as well as it can involve the large intestine also. So, what are the symptoms of this? The patient can have chronic diarrhea. If you have a diarrhea in the tail, they will start feeling very weak and tired. They can have severe abdominal pain. They can have a lot of pain. And they can have blood motion. So, what are the symptoms of this? So, when we do some basic blood tests, the hemoglobin might be low. CRP parameters might be high. So, when we do colonoscopy, there will be a lot of ulcers and inflammation in this case. So, in this disease, what is the difference between IBS and IBS? IBS will never progress into any other problem. So, in IBS, there is no risk of colon cancer. But IBD, there is a risk of increased colon cancer risk. So, IBD, we identify IBD. We have very good medications to keep it under a good control. It's very important to know the difference between these two conditions to get the adequate and appropriate treatment. Thank you.